Um, I would have loved to throw 62. That was really my goal. I wanted to use today as practice for qualifying for Rio, um, if everything was going well, and it was. So I won't lie, I'm a tiny bit disappointed. It would be nice to go that automatic mark. But since I've had today counts two competitions this season, I will take it. Well, I threw in Beijing in 2008 um, as a 22-year-old, so I was very young in my first Olympics. In 2012, I tore my ACL here at the trials um, and went to the Olympics anyway because we didn't have an alternate. So that second Olympics, I was very injured. And I've really been trying to make sure this 2016 year is my kind of third times the charm magic number three Olympic Games. So fingers crossed for that. And your husband is throwing later? Yes. What's that been like, I mean, just training together for the trials? Oh, it's been really good. I thought this year, kind of earlier this year, I realized that this is the first time we've ever lived in one place for a whole quad, a whole Olympic quad. So we've been in Colorado Springs for three and a half years now. That's Russ's hometown. It's not necessarily the best place to train. It's altitude as throwers. Um, the weather can really get in your way. And it's just kind of difficult to, to roll with the punches in Colorado sometimes. But. It's a great place to live, and it's a great place for our relationship and our relationship with his family. So we've just grown a lot closer um, being in that kind of secluded place for four years and really relying on each other because our coaches aren't there every day and stuff like that. We always did that anyway, but you know, now that we're married and still doing that and pursuing other areas of our lives, I just feel really fortunate to have him around. I had, you know, aches and pains that come with being 30 and having thrown the javelin for 15 years of my life. That's half, if anyone could do math, which is crazy. Um, I finished my MBA at the end of June, which is really exciting. The workload wasn't ridiculous. It's something I've been pursuing for three years now. But I also had left shoulder surgery in the fall, so I didn't really count on two major surgeries in one Olympic quad, but that's just what happened. And the recovery from that has been really good. Uh, but it kind of did things to like the other side of my body that I didn't really expect. So I had to figure out how to get my upper body strength up when I didn't have the ability to do a whole lot with my left shoulder all year. So it's just been a process that delayed my season a little bit longer than expected.